Hi everyone. So you clicked on this video because you're already retired or you're about to retire and you're thinking about maybe, just maybe, moving to Oklahoma or at least it's on the short list of possible places to move to. I'll be the first to admit that Oklahoma is a retirement destination. Probably doesn't jump out to many like say, I don't know, Florida, Texas, or Arizona. But hey, in this video, I want to make the case for Oklahoma and Oklahoma City in particular, giving you 10 good reasons why you should consider this little slice of heaven that I've called home for the last 60 years. And by the way, if you're a baby boomer like me, there's a ton of our peers joining the ranks of the retired every day. On average, over 2 million boomers have been retiring each year since 2011. And in 2020, thanks to COVID, that number jumped up to 3.2 million people that retired that year. Hello everyone, my name is Len Taggart and whether you're retired, you're retiring, or hey, you're not even close, I help folks like you every day considering moving to my hometown, Oklahoma City. Just reach out to me via phone, text, or email, and let's talk. My contact information is shown down in the description box down below. As we transition into retirement, and I say we because I'm right there with you, experts tell us that our retirement will likely be longer than our parents because we're simply living longer. That also means your retirement finances must last longer too. And for that reason, there's lots of us moving to areas with the lower cost of living, reduced taxes, and more affordable housing. Why? To help stretch those retirement dollars further and or we're moving to less populated towns and cities where there are less hassles, the pace of life is slower and less hectic, and where you can live out your retirement in relative peace and comfort. It's these kind of considerations that are driving the interest in moving to a place like Oklahoma. So in this video, I'm gonna to touch on some of these and other points to make my case for why Oklahoma should be on your short list of places to consider when making this all important decision. And out of fairness, I'll also be upfront, I'll lay out a few points as to why Oklahoma might not be the best choice for some. So let's get into the pros right now. Number one, lower cost of living. This is a major draw for many and not just for baby boomers wanting a less expensive place to live. I made a video on this a while back shown here describing all the advantages of living in Oklahoma cost-wise compared to say living on the east or west coast. For seniors, especially those on a limited income, making your dollars go further takes on added importance in the affordability of living in Oklahoma. It makes it an attractive retirement choice. Compared to national averages, the cost of living here is typically 15% cheaper than in most other parts of the country. Grocery, healthcare, transportation, utility expenses are all cheaper than the national averages. And then there's housing. Oklahoma offers some of the most affordable housing prices in the United States, according to Zillow. The average price here, it's only $167,000. Nationally, it's $325,000. And the differential gets even bigger when comparing Oklahoma's housing prices to say prices on the West Coast. Case in point, check this out. What's $1.2 million get you? Well, $1.2 million in Los Angeles gets you this. A two bedroom, one bath house that's 1,064 square feet. That works out to $1,128 a square foot. 1.2 million in Oklahoma City, it gets you this. A five bedroom, five bath, 7,500 square foot house that's selling for $158 a square foot. Has that got your attention? Oh, you don't need 7,500 square foot? I understand. Sell that big house in California and buy two houses here. Rent one of them out for some additional passive retirement income. Or buy a home here and a vacation home here. Just to go with it. Just saying. Depending on where you're coming from, lots of options when it comes to housing in Oklahoma. Number two, warm and welcoming people. Like many states in the southern portion of the United States, Oklahoma is widely known for its southern hospitality and being some of the nicest folks that you'll ever meet. We still wave at people passing by. We say please, we say thank you, we hold open doors for others, and we often go out of our way to help total strangers wanting nothing in return. Invitations to attend Sunday church, Outdoor parties and good old-fashioned barbecues are all little things that make you feel welcome here. Despite their size, even larger cities like Oklahoma City and Tulsa have managed to retain a small-town friendly feel. Number three, experience all four seasons. Living in Oklahoma means never being stuck between summers and winters. Despite having an average of 234 days of sunshine, you will experience the full range of all four seasons here. Be advised, however, summers in Oklahoma, like right now, are hot and humid. Fall turns the leaves bright shades of orange and red and the air turns uh, cool and crisp. Winters here, they're bearable. We usually have one or two decent snowfalls in the winter, maybe eight or nine total inches, that's it. Nothing like our neighbors up north experience. Our biggest headache in Oklahoma in the winter is not snow, but rather ice. Occasionally, not very often, but occasionally, during the winter here, a major ice storm will occur wreaking havoc by downing power lines and at least for a little while, causing major travel disruptions across the state. 
four. It's easy to get around here. Commuting in Oklahoma is a breeze when compared to other more populous states. Living in Oklahoma, whether you're commuting to nearby hardware stores, grocery stores, restaurants, malls, or other retailers, normally every destination is usually only about 10 or 20 minutes away. In the larger cities like Oklahoma City or Tulsa, rush hour usually equates to a max commute time of maybe 30, maybe no more than 30 to 45 minutes. Heavy traffic, often a big negative in other U.S. cities, is not a big deal in Oklahoma, is seldom encountered here. Number five, strong economy and attractive tax benefit. For retirees that are looking to remain in the workforce, Oklahoma boasts a very low unemployment rate that is usually at or below the national average, and the state's economy has proven to be pretty recession resistant. The economic recession of 2008 caused major issues for many states, but Oklahoma really wasn't one of them. Oklahoma recovered quickly and by 2010 was producing more jobs than ever. Not only is the economy here strong, but taxes for retirees are low here as well. The state does not tax Social Security benefits. There is no state estate tax, and property taxes here are fairly low. Number six, rich cultural heritage. Today, Oklahoma may seem more metropolitan than the Wild West, but the truth is actually somewhere in between. The state is rooted in Native American culture, having the second largest Native American population, right behind California, as well as having a rich Western heritage. And hey, you know what? We still have real life cowboys here. Retiring in Oklahoma means being immersed in a rich, diverse culture and an honorable frontier heritage that still reverberates throughout the state. You know what? As evidence of this, look no further than the fact that in the late 19th century here in Oklahoma, the state was actually settled by five different land runs with the government simply giving away 160 acre tracts of land for free. My great grandfathers were participants in one of them, the Cherokee Strip Land Run of 1893. And that's how we settled in Oklahoma. Number seven, plenty of outdoor activities. Lots to do if you like to be outside. If you're an avid golfer, you're in luck since Oklahoma boasts some of the finest golf courses in the country. And frankly, some of them are quite famous. Like Southern Hills in Tulsa, most recently it hosted the PGA Championship. And in the past years, it's hosted the U.S. Open Championships. Or Oak Tree National in Edmond, which is the site of past PGA and senior PGA Championships. Golf-wise, Oklahoma has something for everyone, whether you're just taking up the sport or you're a scratch golfer. There's an abundance of great golf golf courses to tee it up at, both private and public. Water sports here are also a big deal since the state boasts nearly 200 man-made lakes. Oklahoma's largest lakes, lakes Eufaula, Murray, and Texoma, draw thousands of Oklahomas for boating activities all year long. Oklahoma is also home to numerous state parks that provide ample opportunities for those interested in hiking, fishing, camping, or sim simply enjoying time with nature. From scaling sand dunes in the northwest part of the state at Little Sahara State Park, to fishing your favorite trout stream in the far southeastern part of Oklahoma near Broken Bow Reservoir. Lots to do outdoors in Oklahoma. Number eight, fun activities for the grandkids. Oklahoma is growing and bringing fun new additions for the grandkids to experience. In Oklahoma City, kids will enjoy exploring the Science Museum of Oklahoma, learning about the Old West at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, seeing the animals at the Oklahoma City Zoo and Botanical Garden, maybe visiting Frontier City Amusement Park. That's always fun. And last but not least, having a blast riding the rapids and zip lining across the Oklahoma River at River Sport Adventure in downtown Oklahoma City. Some of these I covered in this video here. Number nine, access to world-class education. So Oklahoma is home to over 50 universities and colleges, and for those who never want to stop learning, most offer classes specifically geared for seniors and retirees. The Osher Lifelong Learning Institutes at the University of Oklahoma in Norman and Oklahoma State University's Extension Center here in Oklahoma City offer non-credit courses for seniors over the age of 50. Number 10, fun and famous festivals and attractions are all over the place here in Oklahoma. We're well known for our fun and vibrant festivals. So the annual Festival of the Arts in downtown Oklahoma City and Edmonds downtown Arts Festival draw thousands of visitors every year. Other popular festivals include the Plaza District Festival, the annual Oklahoma Regatta Festival on the Oklahoma River, and the granddaddy of them all, the largest attraction in the state, the annual State Fair of Oklahoma to round out the list. I talk about all these in this video here. Despite all the positives, there could be negatives to calling Oklahoma home. In the spirit of full transparency, here are a few things about living in Oklahoma that could be real deal killers for some. Number one, the weather here can be very harsh. Severe weather in the Sooner State is a fact of life, no doubt about it. Damaging tornadoes and hailstorms do occur here with frequency every spring. Get used to constant severe weather bulletins and they're going to interrupt your favorite television programs during the storm season. That runs from April to June. While the risk of a catastrophic tornado hitting any one area is low, the risk is real. And that threat may be more than some seniors are willing to put up with. On a related note, the state is also known for having year-round very high pollen counts. What's that mean? Well, those susceptible to seasonal allergies, like me, suffer mightily as a result. And if that's you as well, you might want to think twice about making Oklahoma your home. I cover this and some other negatives about living in Oklahoma here. Number two, the state's natural beauty is 
an acquired taste. I doubt this is any big surprise to anyone when discussing Oklahoma, but if you dream about spending your retirement days, you know, on the beach or exploring mountains, uh, you need to look elsewhere. As a prairie state, we do have an abundance of rolling plains with beautiful grasslands you can experience, but beyond that, the exception being the small portion of southeastern Oklahoma that's covered in mountains and forests, the state's natural attractions, eh, it's pretty limited. Number three, infrastructure here is severely lacking. The state's roads and highways, they're always in a perpetual state of repair, not to mention the fact that neither of the two largest metropolitan cities in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City and Tulsa, we don't have any kind of light rail system to help folks get around more easily. So because of how spread out both these cities are, especially Oklahoma City, which by the way, we're the eighth largest city in the United States square mileage wise. So living in here, it means you're going to have to drive. Hate to tell you. That means likely you're going to have to own a car to get around. That alone could be a deal killer for some. Number four, political and religious diversity is lacking here. While Oklahoma has a great deal of cultural diversity, the same cannot be said about political or religious diversity. Christian denominations here are prevalent. I mean, the Baptists, the Methodists, the Presbyterians, etc. Church attendance here is high, and not surprisingly, conservative values dominate the landscape. The state's about as red as a state can be, with every county voting Republican in the most recent presidential elections. Even with the Southern hospitality and welcoming nature of the people here in Oklahoma, when it comes to these two matters, you might feel like you're an outsider if you have contrasting religious or political views. This too is probably no surprise to most folks, but I wanted to get it out there nonetheless. So despite the negatives, have I convinced you that you should look at Oklahoma as a place that makes sense for you in your retirement? I hope so. If so, and you're ready to make the move, give me a call. We can map out a game plan together. I'd love to talk to you. We'll figure out how to get you here. Being over 65 myself, I know there's a lot to consider. Believe me, I get it. I'm here to make the transition as smooth as possible for you, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. My contact information is shown in the description box down below. In the meantime, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons. That lets the YouTube algorithm know you got value out of this content I just made. It also helps keep me encouraged to continue making these things. Also, comment down below. I'd love to hear, you know, what about Oklahoma is most interesting to you as a possible retirement destination, and also what things are most concerning. I want to hear both sides. Your input is crucial to this channel's success. That's all I have for now. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.